hello friends how are you doing in the video of today we will learn together how to apply for visa for uh, canada and as always we will speak about all the details starting with the visa policy of canada and after that we will move forward to all the details how to apply for visa for canada and all the application process and in the end we will speak about all the required documents that you will need while applying but before we start don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question please write it below in the comment section and i will respond to you back in 24 hours so if we will look together at uh, the visa policy map of canada we will find that there are few countries who can have visa free access to uh, canada if they are traveling by land for example the united states mexico uh, they can have a visa free access to canada but if you are traveling by air you will need an electronic uh, visa uh, authorization electronic travel authorization and we will learn how to apply for it so basically countries uh, from all the european countries like all the schengen area australia uh, and almost all the countries of uh, north america they can travel uh, to canada just by obtaining the electronic travel authorization and it will cost you only seven canadian uh, dollars for the rest of the world for the african countries for the south american countries for all asian countries except japan uh, and uh, korea you and some other countries you will need to apply for visa before traveling to canada and in this video we will learn how to apply for uh, electronic travel authorization to canada and how to apply for visa but we will start by the visa details so if you are applying for a visa this is your website canada.ca in immigration refugee citizenship services visit canada apply visitor visa dot html this is your website and i will leave it to you here they will ask you some questions like why are you uh, applying for a visitor visa i will say none of those okay get instructions like i want to uh, i want to travel for tourism apply for a visitor visa okay what would you like to do uh, today apply for a visitor visa for myself do you uh, have already an application in process i will say no i'm a new applicant F and here you will have first uh, to create sign in or create an ircc secure account and through this uh, account you will start applying for the visa okay sign in or create okay then i will say i don't have an account i will click register how to register for an account okay with a sign there are two ways register with gck register with sign in partner this is secure way for you to sign in your online account using information you already have okay so if you already have some informations in any of those sites they can share your information with uh, the canadian website and you don't have to fill all your uh, details but in case you don't have any uh, account in any of those sites you will have to click here register with gck and okay i will create here i will click sign up terms and conditions i accept create a username okay you have to uh from 8 to 16 characters no special characters no more than seven uh, digits a a a a a a okay one okay one two three four five six and 12 continue 
is already selected not available a s s a a s s a continue okay create your password and there are some instructions for the password okay And then click continue and you will need to answer some uh, recovery questions we'll say a -A. this one is the root one zero one zero one zero one zero one okay continue at least three characters y a a a a a a a okay b b b b for example continue okay and this is the username and please click continue all right and now we come to this part of terms and conditions I accept okay and now I will have to create an account a a a a a a last okay list uh, a a email address I already had an account but I just want to show you how to create an account okay preferred language of notification English continue no I didn't have an account I'm not really sure I'll see you just need to answer all your security questions just get a security question and the answer security question and the answer then continue uh, could be submitted because error was found the question you have input is invalid your question must contain at least 10 characters okay this one okay continue and now this page in front of me and in this page a i can start uh creating applying to come to canada start can i can now start an application and we will learn how to fill this application together so first we created an account on this online service and now we will start our application so starting our application you will have to click here apply to come to Canada okay personal reference code I don't have a personal reference code okay I'm applying for visitor uh, visa okay fill out your eligible uh, if you uh, find out if you are eligible to apply okay I would like to come to visit how long you're planning to stay in Canada less than six months select the code that matches the one on your passport you can be applying from India Pakistan Egypt any country let's say I'm applying from India what is your current country I would choose India do you have a family member who is a Canadian citizen uh, I will say no what is your date of birth let's choose this date select this date then click next 
and have you lived in Canada as a permanent resident or landed immigrant? I'll say no. I have never been to Canada. Are you a lawful permanent resident of the United States with a valid US citizenship? I will say no. What is your marital status? I will say I won't. Never married single. What is your province of destination? Where are you going as first province? Let's say I'm going to Alberta or whatever it is, Alberta. Loading. Based on the information you provided, the result below indicates whether you may be eligible to come to Canada. You can you are eligible to apply for a visitor visa to travel to Canada under six months, and this visitor visa costs a uh, one hundred Canadian uh, dollar. Okay, it permits travel to Canada by air, car, bus, train, or boat, and is valid up to ten years okay and the processing time varies depending on the number of applications currently being processed so i will uh click continue okay then you are almost there okay i'll click continue what is the main purpose of your visit i'll say tourism i am just going for tourism next Okay, in the last 10 years, have you legally traveled to Canada? I will say no. Have you a valid United States visa or have legally traveled to US in the past 10 years? I will say no. Okay, find out if you are... Do you have a job in the country where you are currently living? I will say yes. Do you own a business in the country where you are currently living? I will say no. I'm just an employee, for example. Do you depend on someone for financial support? I will say no. Have you traveled to other countries in the previous 10 years? I will say no. Then click next. Are you accompanying a family member? That has a status in Canada, I will say no. Have you ever committed, uh, been arrested for being charged with or convicted of any criminal offense in any country? I will say no. Have you had a medical exam performed by an IRCC authorization panel with the last 12 months? I will say no. Do you want to submit an application for a family member? I will say no. Find out if you're okay. Are you giving someone access to your application? No. In the last past 10 years, have you given your fingerprints and photo biometrics for an application to come to Canada? I will say no. There are fees associated with this application. Will you paying your fees or are you fee exempt? Yes, I will be paying my application fees. Okay. Are you able to make a digital copy of your documents with a scanner or a camera? I will say okay. Yes. Will you be paying your application fees online? To pay online, you can use credit card, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, all these cards. You can choose yes or no, and depending on your situation, they will tell you if you will pay online or you can pay at the center. I will say, for example, uh, yes, and click next. okay review your answers those are all your answers and you can check your answers and edit your answers if you want
OK. And if you're fine with your answer, you can just click uh, continue. OK. For submitting your application, you can use OK. First, you must be logged in your account. I'm already logged in my account. Save your application. OK. Re upload your uh, documents. There are some documents that you will need to upload we will check what documents now and pay your application fees so all the documents must be uploaded so now let's click continue and see what will happen continue it is loading your documents so here are uh, the documents that are that you are required to uh, upload okay document name first the application form there is application form and then the supporting documents your passport proof of means of, of uh, financial support like bank statement digital uh, photo purpose of travel other required like why are you traveling like uh, family information some information of your family and some optional documents like a schedule application for a temporary residence visa and client information and here are uh, the fees there are like uh, 100 canadian dollars for uh, the application fee and there are there's also 85 uh, uh, canadian dollars for the biometrics fees okay so now let's check first for the document name i will have to click on this okay so my bdf viewer is not able to show it let me download it you'll have to download it first and open it just one second open it separately because my current BDF is not supporting this document so basically this document is not opening here online but if you download it and open it on your computer wait I will show you it will be completely clear for you not this one not on chrome yes this one it will be completely clear for you so you will have to fill this document by uh, yourself here online because you will have to uh, upload it this is your application form and we will learn how to fill it together right now so let's fill this application form together I want service in no English visa requested visitor visa full name write your name and family name okay so it, if it is a start there is a star here it means that, that it is mandatory given name I will say no there is no given name okay mail date of birth okay numbers okay city town country we choose India
OK country of territory. So we'll choose India status. OK visitor other from current. No, no, no. If I, if you are citizen of this country, if your country, then you you, you write a citizen, and you don't have to give a date. But if you're a visitor of this country, applying from another country, then you have to write a visitor just like your status in this country. Uh, previous countries or tourism of residence, I will say no. Okay. Uh, country or territory or territory where applying, same as country or territory of residence, I will say yes. Uh, you currently marital status, I will say single. Okay. Here, uh, have you previously been married or in common law relationship? I will say no. Languages, uh, a native language or mother tongue, like Hindi, for example, if you're Indian. You can choose Hindi, Gujarati, Tamil. Or English are you be able to communicate in English or French I will say English have you taken a test from a, a designated testing agency to assist you your proficiency proficiency in English or French uh, French or I will say no passport passport number one two three four five six country or territory of issue I will say India India, okay. Issue date Okay. Okay, expiry date two zero two eight zero two zero two for example. Uh for the trip will you use a passport issued by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Taiwan? No, okay. For this trip, will you use a, a, a national Israeli passport? No, okay. You don't have to answer those because I already choose India. Oh, do you have a national identity document? I will say no. If you have, you can just say yes and you can have and you can fill it. Uh, US per card. Are you a lawful permanent resident in the United States? I will say no. Contact information, street name. city country which is india okay same as mailing address i'll say yes okay telephone number you can give other type Your phone number if it's Indian, so plus a nine two, I think. Plus nine one is it is, I think. Uh, uh. Are invalid, but this is the number that I have and your number whatever your number you have just write it okay alternate phone number if you have just write it okay details of a uh, visit uh, to canada tourism from okay 2022 i will say april first to 2022 say First, funds available for my stay in Canadian dollars, let's say 4,000. If a person or an institute I will visit, just write the name of the place you are going to visit. Address in Canada. Okay. 
education have you had any boss education including university calls if you have you write you choose yes and you, and you write it if, if not you just click no employment okay this is your employment history from this year uh, okay to your occupation your company name and okay if you are currently work there you don't have to fill this town current country you choose India all right then within the last past two years have you or family member have uh, all the long spin okay like a uh, background information lungs or being in close contact with a person with uh, tuberal colossus I'll say no do you have any physical or mental disorder that would require social or health care in Canada I'll say no have you ever remained beyond the valid of your status uh, attend school without authorization I'll say no have you ever been refused visa no have you previously applied to enter or remain in Canada no have you ever committed or been arrested no did you serve in military say no are you or have you ever been a member or associated with any political party or say no have you ever witnessed or participated in the ill treatment prisoners or civilians I'll say no okay signature do you consent to be contacted by CIC or an organization at CIC request in the future if yes you can say yes okay I declare that I have answered all the questions okay signature of applicant or parent a guardian for a person under you can just write your name here and here you write the date of today for example it is the day and you can uh, click validate the entire application to check if there is any error okay the following field must contain a value citizenship okay and and this plus is not valid so citizenship choose Indian and for the phone number let's check the phone number part let's click validate again okay validation complete is uh, uh, complete successfully please print the entire application and, uh, and sign and date the last uh, page this page contain a barcode that facilitate data entry of your application you, you can't see that box wait let me show you that box the validation a uh, box uh, Windows capture okay yes this is the validation box over here okay uh, please print the entire application and sign and date the last page you have to sign it again by yourself after typing your name if you are applying online you don't need to sign your application form by hand if you are applying online you don't have to uh, sign it by hand but if you are not applying online and i will teach you how to submit all these documents uh, by yourself uh, not online then you uh, if you're not applying online you have to sign it by hand if you're applying online then don't sign it just write your name uh, like that and upload it so I will just click OK and now I'll just save save as
this is a save as section and I will tell it save it at desktop and now it is saved at desktop so now I filled my application and I saved it at desktop and we are supposed to upload this application to the site. So after the fill filling of uh, the so after the filling of the application form now you can uh, start uploading your documents. You can click here upload file. Then choose file and you will choose your application form from your desktop and click upload file it is loading okay okay then okay success uploading file return to your documents we already uploaded the first file now you'll have to start uploading the other files like starting with your passport choose file okay passport upload file return to your document then here you upload your uh, bank statement to prove your financial support upload file choose file upload file return to your document then the digital photo of yours upload file choose file and then upload file return to your documents and then purpose of travel other uh, required like uh, okay upload file choose file upload file okay return back to your document and there is also another file here uh, called uh, family information you will have to download it first from here you click here then this page will appear from front of you you can't read this page so you have to download it first and after downloading it you can open it from the desktop let me show you okay I opened it now let me show you this is the family information uh, section okay type of uh, application you choose visitor okay before you start read an instruction guide type or print in black ink first you'll have to section A name complete all names in English and if your native language is Arabic or Korean or Korean uh, include all family members even if they are not uncombining you you have to write all your family members informations about all your family members even if they are not coming with you if you need more space for any section print out an additional page okay so here I write the name of my father okay uh, okay country of birth date of birth
Sorry. For example, a present address. So this is for the father. Here, for example, the mother. Uh, as the applicant, I'm sorry. Here is the applicant, me. Uh, just didn't notice it. Okay, just let's say it is like that. Country of Perth. And here is the spouse or common partner. If there is no spouse, you don't have to fill it. Uh, and and you will write here, will I combine you to Canada or not? I will say no. Here you will write the name of your mother. And the date of birth, of course. And uh, here I will write single, okay. Married. And not a combining. Here I will write the name of the father. And married. Not a combining, okay. And here I write my signature. Here, if no spouse or common law partner is listed in section A, read and sign below. I certify that I don't have a spouse or common law. You can't. I, you can't add this section. Oh, just one second. It's weird. I can't write here. I think I will have to sign it manually then upload it but here for the date you can give the date here easily but for that section for the signature you will have to print it and sign it manually and after that you will have to scan it and then i will click save so basically in this page you will have to fill your family informations first your information the spouse if it's there the mother and the father and their situation with you are they coming with you or not okay and if you have any uh, other like children you can write them here uh, you can write your brothers and sisters in this section and you will have to sign each section after that you will have to upload it here but let me just do one thing please i just want to make sure that i'm giving a birthday exact as the one i gave when i was filling the online form because if not it could be an error eighty four July and it was eleven and I click save save and now return back again after filling this exact document about your family member you'll have to upload it upload file choose file from desktop then click upload file Okay, your file is uploaded now. Click return to your documents. Now I uploaded all the required files and now there is a section part here appeared in front of me. I will have to pay the biometric fees and the, and, uh, the visa fees online and the total price will be 100 
85 Canadian dollar. I will click next. Okay, uploaded, uploaded. Summary of the fees, okay. Declaration. Okay, silly. I agree. Signature. Given name. I'm sorry. Last name. Sign. Okay. Then I'm now ready to pay. I can transmit and pay. It is loading. Because this tell me your application has not been yet submitted. Okay, summary of the fees. Okay, transmit and may. They will get me now to the online payment service. Never click here, never. Just leave it like that. And in this part, you will have to give your card number, your card name, your card number and the month and the CVV and click check out. And after that, they will send you an OTP. And by clicking on the OTP, you are now ready to make the payment. And in the next part, you are ready to, um, to choose which application center you will go to give your biometrics now there's something i would like to discuss with you what if you don't want to submit your application online and your paper online what if you don't want to make your payment online so remember back to this uh, question are you able to make a digital copy of your document with a scanner or camera or not i will say for example no in the last time i said yes and we completed according to yes and here also they will ask me uh, are you willing to pay your application fees online I will say no and then I will click next so what will happen next let's see okay so this is my application those are all my answers you can modify it if you want and after that I will click continue and now here is the application okay so now with the application forms now what you have to do first is the step one is print this page you will have to print this page then you'll have to read the application guide and find out uh, and where to send your application the offices if you are applying outside canada or the offices if you are applying inside uh, canada so we of course we will choose this one and gather these documents and complete the application form so first you'll have to download this application form okay we already downloaded it once the one we uh, downloaded it and after you will have to fill it let me open it again for you as we agreed it will not open here in adobe online so you will have to download it and after downloading it you will have to open it from your desktop i'm opening it now from my des desktop just opening come on okay it is opening let me show you this is the application form we already filled this application form once but in this case you will have to fill all this application form again by yourself okay and after filling the application form you will have to print it in this case uh, the online like uh, you don't have to sign 
like to write your name you will have to print it and after you print it you'll have to write the signature and the date manually and there's also another application form that you will need uh, the one associated to the family the family information application form okay this application form you will have also to download it and fill it okay and those application forms will be submitted manually to the application center so what you need to do is let's go back to the page okay chrome again okay so what you will need is first you will have to okay fill this application form prepare those documents your passport proof of main financial support like a, a bank statement a digital photo of you like you need pictures now uh, for you uh, purpose of travel like a paper explaining your purpose of travel and so on and your family information and those will be the, your, your total price you will have also to pay your application fees in uh, the office and you'll have to review your application how to pay your application fees okay if you are applying from india how to pay for your application for uh, fees if you're applying from india what type of application are you submitting uh so Family sponsor permit temporary stay. Temporary residence. What are you paying for? Visit visa. Get payment instruction. And here will be telling you okay. This will be the price in end rubies and those are the biometrics how to pay your fees keep a copy of your fee received for your records if you pay the wrong fees okay we can refund you you can also still pay and apply online you pay your fees uh, directly within the online application ebb when you apply make sure you have a credit or debit card okay this visa center you can also apply uh, pay and apply at the vac application center so there are they explain to you that there's two ways like the previous one where you uh, already applied uh, and paid uh, online where you submitted all the documents online and now also they are telling you here pay and apply at the vac the visa application center so now let's check the visa application center now we have to go to the offices that you will be applying from so don't forget first that you will have to print this page the visa application center you are applying from india pcdef there are every country here you just need to choose your country okay from india let's choose new delhi so if we look together at the vfs global site here choose a country we choose India if you want Pakistan there's also Pakistan there's also Egypt but we'll choose India you can choose just your country take me to the website okay and here start now okay for beginning your application they will tell you this application form will direct you directly to uh, to the website where we fill the application form and all the details but after filling the application form after uh, printing as a checklist after preparing all your papers you will need to book an appointment and to book an appointment you will need to book an appointment here okay and if you want to find out where uh, uh, if you need to give your appointment or not it's just a test for you okay okay you can book an appointment online by clicking here and here is the city you can 
book an appointment from New Delhi. CIC form appointment appointment type biometric enrollment. Okay. And you can click proceed and after clicking proceed you will be uh, moved forward uh, so you uh, can choose the specific date uh, you want for giving your biometrics and in the same day you will be uh, preparing your papers also with you and you can also book an appointment by telephone by contacting those phone number or by sending an email okay or also by web chat there is a web chat for them chat now or in person all right so after booking the appointment you will need to pay your uh, fees you'll have to pay the government of Canada fee and biometric fee if required as per instructions on the IRCC uh, website then you will have to visit the application uh, center in your uh, city if you are applying from India if you, are, if you are applying from Egypt if you are applying from Pakistan and once you submit all the papers you are ready to track your application and if you get your visa you will be ready to collect your passport and the process is the same if you are applying from anywhere if you are applying from okay Afghanistan Albania Algeria Argentina Azerbaijan Bahrain Bolivia Cambodia Chile those are the offices if you're applying from Egypt Ethiopia Finland Georgia like from any place it is the same uh, process